लेट्स टेक द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री अ होलो शाफ्ट हैविंग एन इंटरनल डायमीटर फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ इट्स एक्सटर्नल डायमीटर ट्रांसमिट्स फाइव सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फाइव किलो वर्ड्स एट हंड्रेड आर पी एम फुल स्टॉप डिटरमाइन द एक्सटर्नल डायमीटर ऑफ द शाफ्ट इफ शेयर स्ट्रेस इज नॉट टू एक्सीड वन पॉइंट थ्री डिग्रीज फुल स्टॉप अज्यूम टी मैक्स इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट टू फाइव टाइम्स टी मीन कैपिटल जी इज नाइन इंटू टेन रेज टू फोर न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर दैट इज मॉड्यूल ऑफ रिजिडिटी नाउ वट एवर इज गिवेन इन दिस क्वेश्चन आई विल राइट दिस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डेटा यर द टाइप ऑफ शाफ्ट इज हॉलो इट इज गिवेन a hollow shaft having an internal diameter 40% of its external diameter it means the internal diameter is equal to 0.4 times that is 40% of external diameter the relation is given transmits 562.5 kilowatts power five sixty two point five into 10 raised to 3 watts एट हंड्रेड आर पी एम डिटरमाइन द एक्सटर्नल डायमीटर ऑफ द शाफ्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड हाउ मच इज द एक्सटर्नल डायमीटर इफ शेयर स्ट्रेस इज नॉट टू एक्सीड शेयर स्ट्रेस इज गिवेन एज सिक्सटी न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेर and this 1.3 degree is angle of twist so here i have fs is equal to 60 newton per mm square angle of twist is 1.3 degree so theta is 1.3 into pi by 180 radians because we want the Value of theta in terms of radians. T max is given as one point two five times of T mean, and modulus of rigidity is nine into ten raised to four newton per mm square. So this is the data which is there in front of us, based on power and RPM. i will get the value of torque and that torque would be called as mean torque or average torque since power transmitted by shaft is given by power is equal to 2 pi nt by 60 therefore t is equal to p into 60 divided by 2 pi n power is given in the question as 562.5 into 10 raised to 3 2 pi into n rpm is 100 therefore the value of t comes out to be 53.72 into 10 raise to 3 newton meter now this torque which we are getting from the power formula it is the mean torque and here we have a relation that since maximum torque is 1.25 times of mean torque that is given so it is equal to 1.25 into t mean that is 53.72 into 10 raised to 3 newton meter so from this i will get t max value as 67. 
वन फोर इंटू टेन रेज टू थ्री न्यूटन मीटर नाउ दिस टी मैक्स आई विल कन्वर्ट इट इन टू न्यूटन एम एम बाई मल्टीप्लाइंग बाय थाउजेंड सो यर आई हैव टी मैक्स एज सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट वन फोर Now, once we have maximum torque, we can find the diameter of hollow shaft by taking first strength criteria and second rigidity criteria. Based on strength criteria, we know that the relation is T by J is equal to F S by R. In this problem. maximum torque is there so here i will write, be writing t max therefore t max value is 67.14 into 10 raised to 6 j value for hollow shaft it is pi by 32 capital d raised to 4 Minus small d raised to four. That is outer diameter and inner diameter respectively. F S is given in the question. F S is sixty. So here I have sixty divided by R is the radius of you can say outer diameter. So it is capital D by two. Here I will be drawing the diagram of a hollow shaft. here we have the external diameter and internal diameter so now from left hand side and right hand side if i see here your 2 and this 32 it will get cancelled out so it becomes 16 next i would be shifting This term onto one side and bringing sixty here, so I have d raised to four minus small d raised to four divided by d is equal to sixty-seven point one four into ten raised to six divided by pi by sixteen into sixty. Next, they have given some relation in the question, so therefore here I will have. the relation is inner diameter is 0.4 times of external diameter so i will replace small d with 0.4 times capital d so here i have d raised to 4 minus small d would be replaced so here i have 0.4 into capital d raised to the power 4 Divided by d is equal to. If I calculate this right hand side, I have my answer as 5.7 into 10 raised to 6. Therefore, here if I calculate this term, d it is 1 d raised to 4 minus 0.4 raised to the power 4 d raised to 4 divided by d. So d and d will get cancelled. So in the numerator, I will have d cube and the coefficient. here i have therefore d cube if i have the coefficient and divide 5.7 into 10 raised to 6 my answer will be 5.85 into 10 raised to 6 and here if i take the cube root i would be getting the answer of outer diameter as 180 180 mm i'll keep this as my equation number 1 so based on strength criteria i am getting the external diameter of hollow shaft as 180 mm now based on rigidity criteria here i have the formula t by j is equal to g theta by l
now t value i have already calculated it is 67.14 into 10 raised to 6 the value of j for hollow shaft it is pi by 32 capital d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 is equal to <coughs> g theta and l i'll put the values which is given in the question g is 9 into 10 raised to 4 theta is 1.3 pi by 180 divided by the length of shaft which in this case it is 2500 mm so therefore here if I calculate if I keep only d raised to 4 minus d raised to 4 and calculate all the terms I would be getting this as d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 it is equal to 836 which I have already calculated into 10 0.86 into 10 raised to 6 here I am keeping capital d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 on one side now therefore I will put the value that inner diameter is 0 0.4 times of external diameter So here I would be getting the value 0 0.4 raised to the power 4 if I subtract 1 minus this answer and then d raised to 4 would be 858.8 into 10 raised to 6 and now if I am taking the square root twice my answer of diameter comes out to be 171.2 mm. I'll keep this as equation 2. Now we would be comparing from equation number 1 that is based on strength criteria I was getting the diameter as 180 mm based on rigidity the diameter is 171.2 mm so out of both of them we have to select the maximum value and the maximum value is 180 mm so this would be the answer for us and here I can draw the diagram for the hollow shaft so this hollow shaft will be having the external diameter of 180 mm we have calculated this external diameter and with this we complete the question